For over 65,000 years, Australia has been home to more than 600 different Aboriginal tribes with their own traditions. Before 1970, no Nyolnu woman painted sacred themes on bark, but in recent decades, a number of women artists have taken to this medium, expanding our understanding of their cultural and artistic history. The symbolism contained in nearly all Yolnu art stems from symbolic visual languages that have been passed down by Yolnu people over thousands of years. Such art is in fact needed for human communication at anything beyond survival at a local level. The British arrived in Australia just over 230 years ago and from then much of historical or cultural interest has been lost. Interpreting and recovering the unique prehistory is central to understanding Indigenous art and in the case of the Yolnu people, showing them as active and intrepid explorers in their historic world and now within their art making. It is customary for Yolnu artists painting materials to be collected from local country. Various natural pigments, ochre, sand and more are mixed with both traditional and synthetic binders to create the paint. In recent times some Nyol new artists have been working with printer inks that has opened up an inventive array of Technicolor effects. Nama Napu was born in 1952 and began painting as an assistant to her father and uncle using miniature or sacred clan designs. Recently, Nama Napu has changed her practice, instead concentrating on original and innovative ways of representing her clan and her identity. She is known today for her immediately recognisable and intricate use of black and white ochre. Namo Napu's paintings are highly labour intensive. She uses a skewered stick and marwat or human hair paintbrush to map out stars and galaxies in graphic black and white ochre. Namo Napu's main subject is the Yalnu concept of Milnu Way, or as is known in English, the Milky Way. There were two men that decided to go hunting in a canoe. They paddled and paddled and paddled until they got to the horizon where they ran into a big wave. The wave tossed the canoe and they were underwater. They were trying to get back up to the surface but they couldn't. They refused offers of help as they preferred to die in the sea. Their spirits went up and they were travelling through this river of stars which represent all the people that have gone before and they were joining them to go through the river of stars called Minyue in my language and, and they happily lived in the sky to join with the others. These designs I have been doing like this focus back to the land, the people and song because they are all related through songs, through rivers, through people. Shared themes of identity, country spirituality, time and the universe. For Yalnu, these are also concepts that bleed into one another. <laughs> 